Hi, in this video I will show you how you can combine, subtract and add masks in Adobe Lightroom. For example, you can combine artificial intelligence driven sky or subject masks with normal masks like linear gradient or radial gradient mask for specific and realistic looking results. Hi, my name is Miklos Meyer. I'm a photography tour guide in Budapest, Hungary and let's dive into Adobe Lightroom Classic now. I already edited the levels of this photo so that the foreground looks good. However, the sky is a little bit overexposed in my opinion. So I can go here to the right to the masks panel or press shift W and from add new mask I can select sky. And now the artificial intelligence is going to select the sky only. And by default it shows an overlay that tells us which is the area that, that the mask is going to be applied on. You can change the overlay color, color here if you want to, but for now red is good. If I don't want the overlay to be shown I can just press O. So this panel on the right that popped up, the sliders here will only affect the area that was previously in red. So that's why it's called a mask because it only affects a part of the image. So if I'm dragging the exposure up and down, it's now only affecting the sky. I don't want to drag it down too much, rather use the highlights slider, that's good, maybe add some saturation to the sky that looks okay. However, if I toggle the overlay back, I can see that the area where the mask starts is not re really uniform. So I may want to add this area to the sky masks. So I'm going to click, double click and say sky. Click on the mask. You can have uh, add and subtract. I'm going to go add and I'm going to add a linear gradient to the already existing sky mask. So I'm going to click here and drag it down. As you can see a linear gradient mask is appearing. I don't want it to be this wide. By the way if you press shift, press and hold shift, uh, the linear gradient mask will be vertical or completely horizontal. That's good. So now this area has been added to the sky mask. However, we have one problem now is that the cross is also included now in the sky mask because of this linear gradient. So I'm going to say subtract and object. And now the select object mask tool pops up and there are two type of select object um, mask. One, the first one is like a brush. I can brush on anything and the artificial intelligence will kind of know what to subtract. That's already pretty good but I want to show, I want to show you the other um, object select and again I'm going to go subtract object and this is what I like this is the rectangle object select tool so you just draw a rectangle around the desired object and the artificial intelligence will automatically recognize the object. As you can see it did a pretty good job so now the cross is not included in the sky mask. However you can see that here the arm is, is still in the mask so I'm going to go and zoom in it and again go subtract and I'm going to use a brush brush is also a kind of mask and I'm going to just brush on it like this and with the brush auto mask was select selected that means that the brush kind of automatically detects the edges and doesn't uh, go over the edges okay that looks alright to me and now if I'm changing any of the sliders here it's going to only affect the sky. Of course don't go too much with this mask because then it's going to look artificial, it's going to look like an overkill. So here I would rather just use the exposure a little bit 
and use the highlights a little bit more for a better result. So this is what it would look like without the mask and this is how it looks with the mask. Of course you can have a lot more edits. For example you can change the color temperature a little bit. You can push it to the colder colors. You can push it to the warmer colors. This is a shot I took with the flash and the flash was bounced off from the ceiling so the light was hitting her from the side and from the top. So as a result there's a lot more light here on her face than on her legs. As you can see if I move the cursor here the luminance value here on the right it says like 85 which shows that it's a well exposed image. However if I go down to her legs also to the highlights is just like 69. So here the image is a lot less brighter. One way to correct this with mask is to have a linear gradient mask. So I will just hit M or here in the mask panel you can select a linear gradient mask M. There are literally hundreds of keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Lightroom that make life really really easier. However, I collected my most used ones into a PDF file that you can download under the video. And just click here and drag it up and this means that only this part will be affected by the sliders. And now I can raise the exposure up a tad bit. So we could stop here, however, let's see how we can use add and subtract masks here again. So on this mask, let's say I would like to subtract the background from it because I want the mask to be applied only on her body and not on the background. So I'm going to go subtract, select background. And if I hit O or tick this, you can see the mask is only applying from, let's change the color here to green so we can see it better. So the mask uh, starts here with the gradient and it is applied on her legs but not on the background. However now we have a small problem. Her leg here it looks a tad bit brighter than the floor here. So to counteract that uh, I'm gonna toggle on the overlay. I'm gonna add a radial gradient mask and this is basically just like an ellipse or a circle mask that you can drag like this and it's not run by artificial intelligence so it's going to apply. So now this area is going to be added to this linear gradient plus subject mask. So now the floor is also going to become slightly brighter but also with a gradient. So this is how it looks without the mask and this is how it looks with the mask. Of course you can change the radial gradient here to your liking. And again with the mask you can not only change the exposure like I did but you could also change the color temperature if you wanted. So if there is like a color shift in the lights you can you can easily counteract that. I hope that you enjoyed this little play with the masks. Let me know under the comments if you have any other favorite, favorite tricks or hacks and don't forget to press the like button and subscribe and also you can download my keyboard shortcut list in Adobe Lightroom. See you soon and all the best from Hungary.